can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Bruce Lee enters the octagon with his mind set on one thing tonight, that UFC championship. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Well, what a visual this is. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one, the founding father of modern mixed martial arts. It's hard to simulate his speed and his striking in training. And I think that's something that has been a big focus for the opponent coming in here tonight. Quick with his hands, quick with his feet, and obviously a guy who gets off to a very good start more often than not. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one. Lee going for the leg kick. He does not connect. Oh, nice combination there. He is just killing him with volume. Today. Jab, right hand, body shot, I mean kicks. What a masterful show of different techniques and ability to throw a combination. Beautiful shot lands to the leg. These guys throwing early. I mean, right away, no feeling out process. These boys just went and started fighting. And that left hook landed on the button. Bone on bone as the head kick lands flush. He better get those hands up or he's gonna put him to sleep. Oh, roundhouse kick. Well, he is a tactician. He does not discriminate when it comes to his weapons. There's a sidekick. That sidekick can go to the legs or to the body. What a technique. Controlling the fight behind that jab. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Nice body shot. Huge block there. Three minutes in our opening round. There's that body shot. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Lee gets lit up by that straight punch. Right hand by the champ, yep. Oh, nice kick. Oh, nice. Lands the side kick now. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that's leading the dance. You cannot take those leg kicks clean like that. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Nice shot to the body there. And blocks the shot there. Get your range back. Get out of there. Let's go. Move those feet. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Right on the button. Lands another punch to the head. Oh, man, just one combination after the next, just absolutely picking him apart with the strike. I'm almost shielding my eyes at this point, John. I can't watch this guy get beat up as he has been getting beat up. He has to make a change. He has to do something different. His opponent is too free. He feels too good in there. Go and try to interrupt this. Good punch. Oh, collar tie. 
Under a minute now to go in round one. Oh, man, this is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head in MMA. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes you don't see it coming. All right, so it looks like some bruising on that thigh right now. He hasn't really done anything to address that weapon from his opponent. He's got to check some kicks. I know right now it may not be that damaging, but down the line, you're going to really pay for it if you don't address it right now. Nice uppercut by the champion. Under 20 seconds now to go. And that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. A lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. You ready to fight? Ready. Second yeah. round underway. All right, next round is now underway. Do you see any major takeaways out of the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, head kick gets home. Don't want to take too many of those. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Well, the most significant stat in this fight, and you can see it right there in plain sight, bottom of your screen, the body strikes. His opponent has had absolutely no answer. He hasn't lowered his guard with the elbow whatsoever. And I'm not sure how many strikes to the body he can take before he ends up crippling here. We'll see. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the bargain. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Colby Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. Pretty significant well. Shots landing on both sides here. Chin down, right. That was a beautiful head kick. I love that one. I love when the guy throws a kick with that much power. Under three minutes to go in round two. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. There's his jab. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. Big punch lands. Ooh. He's found his range. Now he's in a rhythm landing those nice, beautiful punches. Two minutes. Oh, beautifully timed with that head kick. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Let me see those kicks. 
collar tie here in the clinch. Oh, making this clinch work count. Lands the punch there. And the front kick is there. Nice job by Lee. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Lands a good series of kicks here. Connects with a beautiful jab. Under a minute now to go in the round. Lee gets caught by the straight punch. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Oh, just misses with the kick. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single power tie. Well, he's got a pretty good side kick, and you saw it right there. He did it great, and it pushed his opponent back. Notice how it creates space and allows him to get back to where he's coming. Oh, another beautiful body shot there. You see the damage starting to accumulate. Maybe some defense would be wise at this he, point in the fight. I think so, John. You can't just get beat up to the body. It doesn't show itself right away. It takes time whenever you're beating somebody up from the body and working your way up. Oh, he's got to try to finish here. Five. Ten minutes Five. in the can. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. You ready? You ready? Let's do it. Round three of a possible five. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. You expect somebody to get ahead, but they've both been so evenly matched. We're still right where we started. Oh, he continues to attack the body yet again here, just as he did in the previous round. Misses with the left hook. Back and forth we go. Great job moving into his opponent and getting to that single collar tie. Right hand lands flush. Big power shot there. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was gonna invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Oh, heavy kick to the body. Oh, good block there. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Well, you can sense the corner frustration. He has not had any answer for these body shots, and now you see the visible damage. Well, his coaches are wondering, where's the defenses? We worked on this. We knew this would be an attack that they would come with. 
Why are you not doing what we've trained? He's got to change something, man. He's got to tuck that elbow. He's got to roll and turn. He cannot continue to take these body shots. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Oh, nasty cut there, right on the bridge of the nose. They're so evenly matched, and they're going tit for tat. Oh, here comes the kick, that one plot. Oh, he's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. He was high. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Checks that leg kick. Well, at times he's tried to check kicks, but he has not been effective in doing so. And now he's starting to limp a little bit. He's starting to limp from those leg kicks. He's showing that it's hurting. That's a, that's a big sign when you watch a fighter because a fighter never really wants to give you anything, but he can't help himself. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front. 30 seconds to go here. Oh, and the high kick lands. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot. Because every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring and then the blood starts to go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle ahead Ready of him. Fight. Ready. Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be harder. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh, nice. Nice. Push kick there to the body. All right, let's go. Let's get those hands going now. Inside leg kick lands and immediately a mark on his opponent. All right, so the upper leg kicks have been a big storyline in this fight, and you got to think at some point he's going to switch stances or make an adjustment, or he's going to lose this fight. He's got to do something, because right now what he's doing... Oh! He's hurt back. Block that kick to the body. Inside leg kick lands there. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. And then he goes in the overhand. Right. Oh, switch kick, how good was that? He switches the hip really fast and gets that leg up real quick to the target. Lee's all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is gonna hurt something fierce tomorrow. Just over three minutes to go. 
Nice front kick there. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to drive and move his opponent to find openings to land that free hand. Oh, nice straight. That'll work. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Clipped him with the right hand there. And another one. Effective use of the jab there by Lee. Cardio looks great. He's still bouncing. He's still moving. He's still real confident. He's trying to set a trap here before he can engage and really spring in there with a couple big strikes. It's not over. It's not over. Keep moving. Less than two minutes now to go. Connected with a solid punch right there. And now some separation. Nice kick to the body. Single collar tie now. Straight punch. Useful. Ooh. Keep those hands up, Keep those hands up. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. What a great fight. Damage doled out on both sides. Perhaps some bonus money coming the way of these two individuals at night's end. 50K, baby. Somebody's getting paid. These two guys are doing a great job in a fight that is so competitive, that is so evenly matched. These two really will be proud of the effort that they have shown inside the octagon tonight. Now the uppercuts are coming. He better start moving. He cannot stand here and eat these uppercuts. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, the wheel kick connects. Impressive. 30 seconds to go. 30 seconds. He's going to work with that jab. Jab lands. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. He closes the distance beautifully. He's got a single collar tie. That high kick will get you spinning. Great landing. Oh, that cut on his nose is only getting worse. Uh, Not good. Uh. And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. All right, so the fighters head back to the stools, and hopefully this fight can continue. That is a severe cut. We'll see if the cut man can do some good work here. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the cut on his nose, and you have to at least ask the question at this point in time. Maybe he's dealing with a broken nose. You certainly don't want to blow the nose. That will result in the eyes swelling shut, but a definite source of adversity here after this round. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, he's getting hammered. He's going Where's back that? to the well over Where? and over again. And Where? why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And now, he's just targeting that cut on the nose. Touched him with the strike there. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now, he looks to try to chase down that finish. Oh, my goodness. Beautiful shot lands to the leg there. Left hand got home there. Looks as though that kick to the body got through. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body, connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Oh, no. Oh! Oh, I think he's still compromised. We'll see if he can recover here. He's in a world of trouble.
Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Oh, the bruising on that calf, champ. That's not good. Hey, take your cans off. Tell him to check a kick. I mean, we got to go back to pandemic fighting where they could just hear the coaching because, man, he has not checked one kick, and he's paying for it now. Oh, that head kick was nasty. Ah, oh, he's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. Oh, man. That cut is only getting worse. Canvas cleanup guy figures to be busy between the fights. He's going to be very busy. He's going to be... Oh, thunderous leg kick grounds his opponent. Left it a little bit, tried to stay upright. But, man, that changed the complexion of this fight. John, he's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Big head kick. Huge shots there. Eats a jab there. All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's going to get his hand raised. Now. He's got to go forward. He's got to just throw everything at his opponent to try and find that punch or that kick that's going to end the fight. There is no time for strategy. Oh, nice uppercut. Yeah. Oh, big shot land. Nice display of technique by him there on the sidekick. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Very traditional technique that a lot of guys are using now in the UFC. Drives the shin into the rib. Great body kick. Well, he's done a great job with his leg attacks all night, but particularly to that meat on the thigh, we might get a stoppage here soon. Yeah, I, it feels like it's an eventuality. It feels like this guy is going to get finished by leg kicks. You can see very early that he should have addressed this. He didn't, and now he's paying for it. Beautiful shot to the head from the clinch here. Head kick lands. 90 seconds to go to decide this one. What an absolute war it has been. Probably going to hold up in the fight of the year conversation, and I wouldn't be surprised to see both fighters at the hospital later tonight. It just takes me back to certain fights. It takes me back to Michael Johnson against Justin Gaethje. Justin Gaethje versus Michael Chandler. Michael Chandler versus Dustin Poirier. The best fights in the world is what I think about when I look at these two. From the blood, from the damage, to the heart and the spirit that these two have shown. I cannot believe that these guys have made it to a minute left in the fight with that type of ability. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Lee. And there's a takedown attempt. Oh, that's a nice strike. Looking to land the leg kick now. Left punch is clean, followed by a right. The right hand just misses. Oh! Heavy kick late from the champ. Final seconds of this fight. All right, so they came in unquestionably the two best in the world in this division, and they showed you exactly why here tonight. A lot of people may think the challenger did enough for me, slight lean to the champion to retain his title. I agree with you, John. I thought the champion did just enough to keep his belt. And this has nothing to do with you gotta beat the champ to get the belt. No, the champion outworked him in the big spots, and he should retain his title. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 50-45, 49-46, and 49-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce.
the Dragon Lee. Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance?